in the circle is Michaela Villaberry for the West Panthers. And leading off for the Bingham Miners is the catcher, Kennedy Moore. Both these teams, Dane, I mean, we talked about in our videos, they'll be released this week, that we have been scoring at a blistering pace. We're set and ready to go here at Larry H. Miller and Gail Miller Field. And ball one to Kennedy Moore. And she does swing on 3-1, fisted, and a fly out in the infield. And then Jasmine Rollin comes over to squeeze that one and one away. Got some flexibility there. I have no problem being aggressive out of the batter's box. But First pitch seen by Sidney Hogan. Pops up to the right side. And is Daisy... Taloa squeezing that one, now two away. That brings up Jaden Jensen. And that ball misses inside by Eula Berry. And the payoff pitch once again, misses low, and Jaden Jensen works her way to a walk. Seven pitch at bat, and now runner aboard. So steps in Aubrey Hogan, pops that one out of play. Hey, if you can throw point .2 innings, right? Point .3 innings. Like Throw down on the steal, may have gotten an honor. Yes, she did. Nicely done. The throw was ahead. Nice throw by the catcher. <laughs> the Jasmine Rollin, or Pami Ponga, able to come up with the tag. And that'll do it for the top half of the first inning. You're watching Deseret News Rewind Game of the Week. Welcome back to Larry H. Miller and Gail Miller Field. Deseret News Rewind Game of the Week, bottom of the first inning. First chance to see the West Panther offense, and it's Kinsey Lapati stepping in for the Panthers. And that's a first pitch strike. Here's the 2-2. Comes up the ladder and it's the potty goes down on strikes. That brings up Keisha White. Remember her name from basketball coverage? And that one's bounced by Wall and Keisha head now. Ball and no strikes. The payoff pitch popped up to third base side. The wind's caught it a little bit. It easily handled there by Jaden Jensen. Up bat, number four. And that'll bring up Jasmine Rollin. Wow, these hitters at over 500 more than half the time getting on base. Comebacker Wall has it easily over to first. And that'll do it. Through one full inning. 0-0 zero, zero here on a Deseret News Rewind Game of the Week. And welcome back to Larry H. Miller and Gail Miller Field. Top of the second inning. And it's Aubrey Hogan at the plate. Clean up hitter and she fouls this one back to the screen. Aubrey was at the plate right. when uh, Jaden Jensen got gunned down on the steal. The 0 2 from Eula Berry. Line drive to the left side. And the first hit of the ball game squared that one up. And Aubrey Hogan's aboard. Nicole Wall, the pitcher, coming up to help her own cause. With Hogan aboard at first base. Down a left field line and out of play. And Eula Berry, Eula Berry able to get on top of Wall. Here's the 0-2 from Eula Berry. Misses high inside. Lifted in the right field. The wind going to keep that one in play. And Wall retired for the first out of the inning. So Hogan aboard at first. Here's Reed. Eula Berry misses up top. Geneva Convention comes to a close. Two balls, two strikes. See if Reed can stay alive once again. Oh, nice pitch by Eula Berry. Pulled the string, and Reed, after a hard fought at bat, goes down on strikes. You mentioned two away, and that brings up Emily Doherty. And Hogan, who reached on a leadoff single, still standing at first base. Doherty, a big swing, goes through the catcher, and Hogan able to get down to second base on the wild pitch. Big play there. See if Eula Berry decides to pull the string on this one. Goes high and gets her swinging. Down goes Doherty on strikes. Top half of the second. One hit, no runs, one left on base. We head to the bottom of the second inning, 0-0. Leading off the bottom of the second, Daisy Taloa, as Wallace pitch finds the corner and called strike one. And the 0-1 goes down to get it. Jensen up with it cleanly, but tall on the throw. But Taloa will not be able to take second on the overthrow. And the leadoff aboard, actually going to award her second base. Then did go out of play. So Taloa reaches on the air and gets the second base on the air Freshman, as well. And that's 14, why, you know, a lot of you see batters, 
coming out of the box when it's an infield play, just kind of jogging it out. That's why you sprint down. Fantastic job by Taloa. So Vainuku steps in. Wall misses wide. Runner in scoring position. Misses tall, and it is Taloa able to get the third on the wild pitch. So the first run of the ball game, 60 feet away. The 3-2. <laughs> And the umpire says, no, everybody, including Vinuku, thought that was going to be a called strike. And they ball four. <laughs> well, there was a lot of confusion on that one, huh? So after the walk, it's Aubrey Smith coming to the plate with runners on the corners and no outs. Wall finds the strike zone on the first pitch, 0-1. Work up in the zone once again, probably on one and two. Does, pops it up in the infield. And Sophia Bottle able to come over That's and squeeze that one for the first Number out. 10. Kamora Messina. Number 10 steps in, squares the bunt, gets it down nicely. Now get a run down. And actually, everybody's going to be safe as nobody covering third. is snap it to second, safe at second, back to third. Scholar safe. Reed just didn't get the tag down. Had two shots. Really had, I thought, Vinuku at second base. Maybe the snap over here. Up to bat. Yeah, everybody's safe. Yeah, Asia. boy, I really thought the runner was going to try to come in oh, from no. third and great recognition by the infield of the Miners to keep the run back at third. Asia Funga steps in with the bases loaded and one out. Third plane short. Wall misses outside. The 2-2. Two -two. Swung on a miss, strike three. Bongo's down on strikes. And Bingham, an out away from getting out of the jam. Bree White comes on. Bases loaded, two outs, and fouls away. The first pitch of the at bat. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Line into left field. And that's all the way to the wall. A three-run triple for Brianna White. Triple by Brianna White. Back to the top of the order, Kinsey Lopati. Went down swinging in the first. The 0-1 bounces it. And now White can come home, and White scores. And she's now responsible for all four runs on the board, and West leads four to nothing. Pitch that's left is good for an RBI. Nice dig by Reed, cross the midfield, the infield, and that is the second throwing error of the inning, and it'll put Lopati yes. at second base. Give her first the base, two. gets a single, Keisha and then the error moves her to second. <laughs> Brings up Keisha White. And Keisha offers on the first pitch. And a nice job by Kennedy Moore getting over the bottom of the second. and closing the second oh, inning. Yeah. And how about the Bingham bottom half of the second? West, West putting up Panthers four runs. Four. We had to the third. The Panthers four, Bingham nothing. Top of the third inning, Bryn Roberts leading off for the Miners. She fouls that one away. And the payoff pitch from Uliberry. Misses high, and it's a leadoff walk for Bryn, Rob Bryn Roberts. Up to bat. Number 32. That's she fell Sophia down 0 2 in the count. So, I mean, we talk about that patience working all the way back to full and then a walk. Great job at the plate and Bingham with the leadoff runner on. Sophia Baudel steps in for the Miners. The runner aboard. Playing a little station to station. And Robert, or pardon me, Bottle. Fouls that one out of play. Yeah, Messina and Vinuku. That's a good first and third. Right? Yeah, the corners have been solid here in the early going for West. Bottle watches that one bounce, and Roberts easily into second base. She squares. Swung on and missed. Strike three. One down. And here comes leadoff. Kennedy Moore. And that is in for a called strike. Moore flew out to short to lead off this game. Roberts on second. 
Moore lifts this one in the left field. Going back, looking up. Goodbye, baseball. Or softball. That's a two-run homer for Kennedy Moore. And Sydney Hogan steps in, balls wide. Sydney popped out to second base her first time up. Goes to the right side once again. Lapati settles underneath it. And that's the nice catch by Kenzie. Second out of the inning. Two outs. I'll bring up Jaden Jensen, the shortstop for the Miners. Jaden walked back in the first inning and was gunned down, caught stealing. And her only appearance back in the first inning is Uliberry misses on that one and it's 1-0. One oh. If possible, head to the bottom of the inning, try to get that lead back. Lifts this one up. It's going to be in the short center field, and luckily All right. damage was uh, done, outs. though. Off the bat of Kennedy Moore, a two-run homer. We head to the bottom of the third inning. Bottom Panthers third. lead 4-2. Bottom of the third inning here at Larry H. Miller and Gail, Gail Miller Field. West Panthers lead 4-2. As a called strike one on Jasmine Rowland. Takes that one right off the elbow. Luckily, Up she's the wearing back. the Barry Bonds Number elbow guard. 11, Daisy Taloa! <laughs> <laughs> Hit and run. Lifted in the center field. Man, taking that ball at second base. How about Roberts getting on the horse there? So now coming to the plate, the third baseman, Josie Vinuku. Josie walked and scored on the bases clearing triple last inning. Takes ball one. Manuku steps back in. One and one. Wide of the plate. Throw down. Jensen can't get it cleanly. Quickly back up, heading now to third, and Jensen does not have a play. Saves the throw, and how about the pressure put on by Jasmine Rowland, stealing second, then getting third. Well, how about the aggressive nature of West? And not the first time we've seen it. You can go back to White when she came home off of a mishandled pitch at the plate. But that time, stealing second. I think Bingham's aware of it. That ball well outside. An opportunity to throw to second, try to catch the runner. And mishandled, and then an extra base given up. West, they are out to win. Tell you what. Here's the 2-0 now to Vanuku. Swung on and missed. Now the 2-2. No controversy here. That ball in the right center field. Looking up. Off the scoreboard. Oh, Home run. Josie, Josie Vainuku with a two-run shot. Bangs it off the scoreboard in right center field. How about each side employing the long ball here in the third inning? Yeah, I, I, would, I would advise against it, but... Not bad. <laughs> Aubrey Smith steps in and ball one. Here's the one two from Wall, right back through the box, past the diving attempt from Sidney Hogan. And that's a one out Let's single for Aubrey Smith. Number 10. As Kamora Messina comes to the plate, snap down the first. And Smith back in there safely. They call you out for not uh, putting in the effort. Yeah. Pulls on the bunt, throw Got down it. to second, and Smith gunned down. That was a miss there by Kamora Messina. She used the protection there. Yeah, that aggressiveness coming back to bite West on that one. Wind blowing in, and the payoff pitch. Line to the left side and through. And as a two out single from Kamora Messina. Let's go, Mamas! Up the bat, number 12. Ajo Fonga steps in. Messina on first, two outs, and Wall misses on the first pitch. Ball and no strikes. And the payoff. Misses high and inside. And a great at bat there from Ajo Fonga, able to work a walk. Brianna White had that three RBI triple last inning, swings on the first offering, and falls behind 0 1. Here's the one-two. 
And White goes down on strikes. Wall gets out of the jam. At the bottom of the third. But it's a two-run shot added Gordon to the board Bingham. for West. Bingham two. Panthers six. West Bingham two. Six. Aubrey Hogan in the leadoff spot in this inning. Hogan singled in her first at bat. Working to count three balls and no strikes. Upcoming graduate, or maybe the child is going to get their driver's license, or maybe your spouse. Go to ucreditu.com. University of Federal Credit Union, proud sponsor of Deseret News Look Rewind. That, number one, the Aubrey cold Hogan wall. draws a leadoff walk. And now the miners are the runner aboard. Wall chops that one down the third baseline and foul. Here's the 2 2. Wall sends that one the other way. And that is a single from Nicole Wall. So two aboard now for the Miners. Up the bat, number 23. So coming to the plate now, Hannah Reed. Reed to the left side, stabbed out of the air. An Adam ball. Nice job on the shift on the defense. And that'll bring up Emily Doherty. And one out, runners on first and second. Well positioned there. Doherty looks at strike one. Strike one. Pops this one up. Coming over is who? Kamora Messini. Almost had a hole in your glove. <laughs> She's almost enough to walk post. home if you'd have dropped that post. one. Yeah, she uh, gave a little chuckle back to the infield and up the bat. Some of the home 10, fans. Bryn Roberts. These are two important base runners right now. You'd love to pick up one. Obviously both, but. To strand two of them would be probably costly at this point of the game. Bryn Roberts looks to strike one. It was a hard-earned walk. And the 0-1 misses. There's a throw down a third. And in there safely is Hogan. So now two runners in scoring position here for Bryn. That's another time where base runners don't have a lot of time to make that decision. And having to be aggressive and able to beat that one out with a head for slide. Yeah, and there it was. Well, paints the inside part of the plate. Strike three. You'll be able, you'll be able to get out of the jam. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Panthers six, Miners two. Starting off the top of the order, Kenzie Lopati. I got her at one for two today. The payoff. Misses low. Up to bat. And Lopati aboard Number with a leadoff two. walk. Keisha White. So I'll bring up Keisha White. Keisha 0 for 2 today, but a tough day at the plate. She's got to keep pace with her sister. And she's a little, she's got some ground to make up. Runner on first base. Not Kenny Moore might have a shot at that one. She caught her with a step. Then White gets the bunt down. Wall cannot get it cleanly. Nice spot by Keisha White. And Keisha White the aboard. Back. Number four, Jasmine Rowland. Here's the lone run from the top third of the. Yeah, Mr. Empire right on top of that one. So she's not making an effort to get out of the way. One ball and no strikes. This is this one in the right field. Drifting back, looking up. Comes off the glove of Hogan. Hogan quickly fires it in. They got caught in between. Nobody covering first. And everybody safe. There's a throw home. And she's out at home. Is Kenzie Lopati. It's a nice job by Bingham. That's why you throw into areas, right? Into nowhere you're going to come with the baseball. You get the out. That's a fantastic job by Bingham defensively. I mean, an opportunity really to bring runs home for West. But they're having to wait to see if that ball is going to be caught or not. And Almost had a situation like uh, Rook of the Year where he's trying to out, you know, runners can't outrun him and everyone having to Up retreat to find a bag and to lower. late push to try to get a run at home and being able to beat it home with a good throw and great play at the plate for the first out of the inning. Ball is carrying today as well. Yeah. Thought Hogan might have had a shot at that one, but ball just kept carrying, carrying, and carrying. Two balls, two strikes, one away. Runners on first and second. The 2 2. Called strike three. And Daisy Taloa is down on strikes. Down. Wow, that one I Up thought was a little 14. outside. And we're going to have another communication here. Josie Just a clarification, I think. If you have any uh, sound distortion, we'll apologize. There's a 
helicopter just wanting to hang out with us this afternoon. Now just above us, Vainuku swings and misses on the first offering. Wall goes outside and Vainuku's down on strikes. And the fourth comes to a close without any fourth. runs. We go to the top of the fifth, West Bingham six, two. Bingham two. West high six. Carly Weidman comes up for her first plate appearance. Weidman fouls that little lady. in the stands. Here's the 0-2, driven strongly to center field off the glove of White. And Weidman digging for second and is in there safely. A leadoff oh double for Carly Weidman. And Keisha White could not get to that one, and that brings up Kennedy Moore. And if you remember, Kennedy Moore had a two-run bomb in her last at bat. The two runs on the board for the Miners. That ball misses. No, pardon me. Called strike one. The 0-2. Called strike three. Good morning, good strike afternoon, out, and good night. Berry. Kennedy Moore one down on strikes. Up to bat, number nine. And in comes Sidney Hogan. Nice work on the dish. And the 1-0 to Hogan misses tall. It'll be 2-0 and then mishandled as well. And easily in the third base goes Whiteman. The 3-2. Lifted into center field. White will settle under it. Here comes the runner, Whiteman. The throw is off the mark and there'll be a sacrifice fly for Sidney Hogan. Sacrifice fly. Score is Bingham three. West six. Brings up Jaden Jensen. Jaden's 0 for 1 today. Walked back in the first. Popped up in the infield. Back in the third. Show you how good Uliberry's been. She's been able to make it every other inning. Going through the order as Jensen could not hold off on that outside pitch. Strike one. The 1-1. One, one. Jensen dribbles this one to the first base side, and Three down. Messina able to step on that one, and that'll do it. But a run comes across the plate in the top half of the fifth inning. West leads 6-3, heading to the bottom of the fifth. On a Deseret News Rewind, Game of the Week, presented by Tosh. Bottom of the fifth inning and a three-run lead for the West Panthers, and Aubrey Smith coming to the plate. And off the mark, ball one from Nicole Wall. The 1-1. Ripped through the left side of the infield, and Aubrey. Single by Aubrey Smith. Smith aboard with a leadoff single. Up to bat, number 10, Kamora Messina on deck. Kamora Messina digs in. The runner aboard, no outs. Hit a two run dinger her last time up. Ball misses outside. Kamora squares, gets it down, covers their bat throw there from Wall. E1, throw down the second, and Kamora Messina cut down. So reaches on air and thrown out at second. Runner over now at third base with one out. So Hunter Ava as a wall misses high and outside. Three balls, two strikes, one out, runner on third. Ava able to hang off. Laid off that one and earns the walk. Think of his Brianna White. Three RBIs on the day on that. Three RBI triple hard to the right side. And that'll be the second out of the inning, but a run will come in. They throw it. And Fonga, they're going to say no. Obstruction. And back in time. RBI. Much to the displeasure of the South Jordan faithful to our right. Kenzie Lopati, the leadoff. Oh. Right back a wall, and that'll be the third out of the inning. We're through All five, right. and it's a four run West lead. They lead Bingham 7-3, to three, heading to the top of the sixth. Aubrey Hogan leading things off for the Miners in the top of the sixth inning. And that pitch wide of the plate. Eula Berry's been outstanding today as Hogan lifts this one in the left field. Bree White drops it. And that might be a base awarded here throwing the glove, but she didn't make contact with the ball. Yeah, and that's what the conversation is. She can throw her glove at it, but she didn't touch it. She has to make contact with the ball, if I remember the rule correctly. It might be awarding third to Hogan. So Hogan will reach on the air to left field. Yeah. 
Throwing him the glove. It, now it's funny, and but it is interference, and they'll give a base to Hogan. Two bases because she would have earned third on the throw. So Hogan will come around, reaches on the air, and scores a run. That brings up Nicole Wall. She swings at the first offering, and it's 0-1-1. Chopper right back up the middle, and Wall is aboard with the single. Cole Wall doing work with two strikes. Number 23. Hanson to speed up over at first base. And that ball is lifted out of play by Reed. Foul ball. And the 0-1. Newberry pops this one up, does Reed. Heads up, base running by Hanson, able to get back to first. So one away. One away, one on. Emily Doherty comes up for the Miners. Jensen away from first. Doherty swings through the first offering. So Michaela Peck will come up. She inherits the 0-1 count. So no balls in a strike with a runner on first base and the speed up runner Jensen. Roberts on deck. Peck fouls this one back into the screen. The payoff. Swung on a miss by Break Peck. Out. And there's two away. So that brings up Bryn Roberts. Walked and scored a run back in the third. As that pitch misses. A series of different mistakes from West. Brought Hogan all the way around. Jensen takes it on the wild pitch. There's a 2 old Roberts lifted to the right side. Lapati coming in and squeezes it for the That's third out of the inning. Bringing brings across of one. Right. But we head to the bottom That's of the, the sixth fans. inning. A three run advantage. For West. Pocket. Bottom of the sixth inning. Keisha White leading things off. Swung on and <laughs> swings and misses of the first offering. Ripped through the left side and Keisha White. Their second single goes to second is gunned down. The aggressiveness thwarted. Nice job out in left field by Peck. And Michaela Peck with the 9 4 put out. Coming to the plays, Jasmine Rollins. Rollin. And that ball in there for off the mark. Here's a 3-1 off the plate. Ball four. And as a walk for Jasmine Rollin. Daisy Taloa. Daisy Taloa in there with ball and no strikes. No one misses high. 2-0. Oh. Here's a 2-0. Oh. In for a called strike. Throw down the second. Rollin in there safely. To Rollin with the stolen base. Big bat behind Talo and Josie Vainuku on deck. The full count. Ripped in the left. Peck with it quickly. And a run comes in, and Jasmine nice. Rollin scores on the Score RBI four. double by Daisy Taloa. Score is four. Bounces the first offering to Vainuku. The 2-0. Popped up. Whiteman coming over. Nice job by Hogan. Calls off Whiteman. Had a better angle on it. Outside nice player always gets it. And it's the second out of the inning. Smoyai steps in. Two outs. Runner on second. And Wall misses up. Lifts this one to the right side. Hogan there for oh, the third out. Nice Panthers played another six. run. We hit the bottom, or probably the top the of the seven. seventh inning. Score Last four. chance for Bingham, leading off the bottom or the top of the seventh inning. Carly Whiteman. Last chance here for the Bingham Miners. Is West with a four-run advantage. And that pitches off the mark. Whiteman right back to Uteberry, and she fires it over to Messina for the first out of the inning. They'll bring up Kennedy Moore. Homer back in the third inning. Goes after the first offering, and it's out of play. 
the three two. Unibury right back at it. Able to stab it, right to and that is two putouts. For the second now, great job, Michaela Uliberry. Uliberry with two putouts, two away Down. in the top of the seventh. Brings up Sydney Hogan, who's 0 for 2 with the RBI today. Sacrifice fly back in the fifth. Uliberry. And that ball's in the infield. Rolling and there, and that'll game, do it. Ladies and gentlemen. West puts away Bingham 8 to 4. What has been a fun day today, our first softball game of the year. But the defending state champion, West Panthers, able to get an 8-4 to four win. Player of the game brought to you by University Federal Credit Union. Bree White, the three RBI triple back in the second inning. Opened things up. She had four RBIs on the day. Again, the final score, the West Panthers 8, the Bingham Manors 4. For Vince Francis and Dane Stewart, I am Dusty Lister. Thanks for joining us and watching Deseret News Rewind's Game of the Week. Presented by Tosh, your orthopedic specialty hospital on DeseretNews.com.